Have you ever opened the fridge or cabinet and stared at it because you were hungry but had no idea what to make? Well, when faced with this problem, the easiest and fastest thing that I can think of is to make a sandwich. And my favorite sandwich is the peanut butter and Nutella sandwich. So today, I will be showing you how to make one. Today, I will be teaching you um, the we, today we will be going over the history of the peanut butter and Nutella sandwich, the steps and supplies needed to make one, and then the benefits it has to society. Let's get right into this easy to make sandwich. The peanut butter and Nutella sandwich is a delicious uh, combination. According to clearingcustoms.net, Nutella was created in 1946 by Italian baker Petro Ferrero as a cheaper alternative to chocolate. Earlier in, 19, in 1895, John Harvey Kellogg invented his version of peanut butter, but in 1904, it later became popular. Even though these two delicious spreads were created many years apart, they soon found each other many years later. The American staple is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but uh, people like me uh, also like uh, the thicker chocolate uh, peanut butter taste. Uh, now that we have talked about uh, some of the ingredients that are involved in making the sandwich, I might as well show you what exactly you will need. The ingredients required today are not going to be very difficult. You'll need two pieces of bread. Any kind or brand will work. Today I'll be using wheat bread. You will also need a jar of peanut butter, creamy, preferred. You can do any brand as well. And you will also need a tub of Nutella or hazelnut spread. You will also need a butter knife to spread on to your sandwiches. Now that we have our supplies, let's start the making process. First off, you are going to need your two pieces of bread on a clean surface. I already have them here, as you can see. Next, you will need your butter knife and a jar of creamy peanut butter. You will then spread the peanut butter onto one slice of the bread, and then you will get your Nutella and use the same butter knife to, say, to spread the same amount onto the other slice of bread. You will then need to just simply put the two together, and there you go, a peanut butter and Nutella sandwich. Now that you all have learned how to make this delicious sandwich, you might think that the sandwich is not very beneficial for you, but it still is pretty good tasting. Well, I'm here to tell you that this sandwich can be beneficial for you. USDA.gov states that peanut butter is a very good source of protein and has many nutritious components. Every two tablespoons of peanut, every two tablespoons of peanut butter is equal to eight grams of protein. This is a pretty good amount of protein for the amount of food that you're getting out of it. And it also has a variety of vitamins and nutritious components in it. It also is a good source of fiber as well. This, the peanut butter in this sandwich is very beneficial for us. Since we have learned so much about uh, the peanut butter and Nutella sandwich today and how to make one. Today we're going to recap just what we learned. We learned some historical facts about the peanut, uh, some historical facts about the peanut butter and Nutella sandwich. We also um, learned how to make one and what supplies needed. And then lastly, we learned the, how it is beneficial for our society. I hope you all have learned some valuable information today about the peanut butter and Nutella sandwich, whether that be how to make one or that peanut butter was made over 100 years ago. Thank you all for giving me your time and letting me show you just how to make a peanut butter and Nutella sandwich.